All right, guys, so uh, I decided to give the bench a quick check over and see what I look like as far as my calibration. Overall, this bench is really good as far as calibration. It shouldn't be off, but it just seemed a little nutty when I was doing the throttle body injection manifold. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do a couple plates on on the bench and uh, then I'm going to get the one with the closest sized hole to the BBD and measure how much flow we're getting through one barrel of the BBD and do the same with the Stromberg and see what we got. Okay, that was on range four. It's a little high. Okay, same plate, range three. See what we got. Okay, obviously it's more accurate on range three. Okay, 200 on range four see what we got. Okay, that's pretty close. I'm gonna leave that. Let's try three hundred. Okay, three hundred we should still be able to get this done on range four. Let's see what we got. Okay, not bad. A teeny bit up. But you cannot expect one range to cover everything from 100 to 300. It just it doesn't seem to work that way. That's why we have different selections on on the uh, the bench itself. You know what? I can take the plate off and show you why or how the bench is designed uh, internally with that with that. Okay, this may not be great because there's a piece of plexi between uh, the opening in the bench and the openings in the range selector. Okay, let's go to one. Okay, tiny hole. Two, bigger hole. Three, bigger hole. Four, bigger hole. Five, you can see how it almost fills the entire hole. And six is this almost the same size as the existing hole. So those are for your different ranges to get your differential pressure across the, uh, the orifice that it can calculate the, the flow through it. I just thought of that while I was doing this. I'm sure a lot of people have not, uh, have not seen that. So I figured, why not? All right, we're going to do the BBD. F uh, the BBD. This is the Stromberg. At the moment, I can't find the BBD, and I'm on pause, so i got to do this quick. I'm just going to fill this, this little chamber spot here with a piece of clay so we can just draw through one barrel. And it uh, looks like this little piece here has to be plugged as well. Okay, my 200 CFM plate is just a little bit bigger than this one barrel, so all I have to do is center it over it, hold it in place. And it should be good enough for us to get a, a decent representation of what the Stromberg does. Yeah, it's a bit of a hack job. So it's going to be tough for me to do because I just don't have enough hands and there's no way to bolt this down to that plate. So let's see how bad it is.
Now I closed the butterfly to see how much leakage we have. So on range four, it went down to zero. Is it really, is it going to be really zero? No, I'm sure I could put it on a lower range and we could, we can see exactly how many CFM it is. Why don't we do that? Okay, range one. Range one is only good for 33.7, but that'll be our most accurate to see how much leakage we have. Okay, so that's about what I saw, right? About 168 on a one barrel. I had to put it on the wood because the linkage is in the way. We got about 20 CFM leakage, so two barrels, almost 300 CFM. That should not be holding us up on, on any of our intakes at this point, right? Let me see if I can locate where I put that BBD, and we'll do the same thing with the BBD. Okay, found it. I'm going to test it with this clay radius. Okay, same hacked up test. We'll do it with the butterfly open. We'll do it with the butterfly closed and see what we got. I just noticed the BBD has these small holes in the butterflies. I don't know if the Stromberg has that. Okay, Stromberg does not have it. So that's why we have about 25... Uh, CFM leakage on this BBD. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, some quick math. And the BBD is only passing 272 CFM which is not what DV and Andy got, but then again, I didn't put in nearly as much work either. I just gave it a quick rough out. Part of me wants to redo that hole inside of that BBD with a real smooth finish and see how much uh, CFM it picks up. Let me know if anybody wants to see that. And uh, it is noticeable that the, the Stromberg, without a clay radius, is only a little bit better than it. So... That makes me feel a little bit better about the throttle body injection manifold. Let's put a clay radius on the BBD and retest it. Got to remember to hit, hit the pause button so it doesn't turn off on me. Almost done, guys. Okay, not my best work. Right, let's see what we got. I had, to fiddle, I had to fiddle with the alignment on my chunk of wood, so scientific, and uh, it came up only a couple CFM, so that edge is not really affecting us. All right, guys. All right, guys, I just did something cool. You're going to like this. I guarantee it. I'm going to turn this on with just the plate. I don't care who you are. That is badass. <laughs> let's see how uh, let's see how this works with the the other one. Yes, I have a lot of garbage on my bench. I understand. I know. I have need to clean. Okay, let's get that centered as we can. Let's see how we do. Interesting, 
right guys? Gee, I wonder what they'll do if I put a radius on them. I have some clay. You know how much I love to play with clay. Almost, guys. Okay, guys, let's see what we got. Isn't that less than it was without the radius? Let's just take that right off and see what we got. I thought it did better than that without the radius. We're still nice and centered. Pretty interesting, right guys? Who would have thought? All right guys, 11 and a half minutes. I think we did uh, enough for one night. Thanks for hanging out. At least I have, uh, I feel a little bit better about the uh, throttle body injection manifold and that Stromberg. Yeah, they're a little better, but they're not a huge amount better. So I need to take that from, from that point and move on. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks a lot.